What up, y'all? Welcome back. We're doing a vintage cube draft. And, uh... It's gonna fire any second now. Hope you guys are ready. Oh, it happened. And nothing exciting was opened. I guess sneak attack is pretty exciting. I mean, sneak attack's easily the most powerful card in this pack. But we could also take a remand. I agree with Badger. I think sneak attack's where you want to be. In a pack like this, I'm going to be sneaking. Ooh, Primeval Titan. <laughs> oh, butter my biscuits. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm skewing myself over just a little bit. A little centered, a little better, a little more centery. Pretty, 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 pretty good. All right. Well, I mean, if we're sneak attack, if we're red green, I think Lana War Elves is where we be. Yep, we're just taking elves and sneak attack and big things to sneak into play. Uh, Girl Signet's probably better than Emrakul. This Emrakul just doesn't do anything. It's just attacks for 13. Uh, we also have Sylvan Carry added, which might be better than Gruul Signet here. This is any color. I think it's probably better. It's also a creature, so if we have, like, Crater Hoof, it's better. We can sack it to Natural Order. <laughs> Definitely need to donate subs now. I don't think that's true. But also, I'm never going to turn down your support, so it's, it's really, like, an awkward... Uh, it's a pretty awkward... It's a lot of awkward tension. Where, like, I think you're, uh, you're, you're too good to me on one hand, but then on the other hand, I'm like, oh god, I don't deserve this support. And it's also like, you've done, you've done so much. So it's like, man. It's an emotional roller coaster for sure. So, around the time we were like, oh, it's a good natural order. It's a good natural order. To think good with the natural order. I'm just going to take natural order. Like, once again, we have three green. Thank you. Badger with the gifted sub. Love you, buddy. Preach. Uh, interesting. So, we got Garrick. Harmonize. We got Fiend Artisan. Crucible. That was a, that was a late time, time twister. You want to take Crucible. He has like Harmonize here? Alright, three cards is three cards. I'll take it. I mean, we're in the Vintage Cube where you got Ancestor Recall, which is three cards for one mana. But you know what? Three cards for four mana. I guess it's just as good, right? Thank you! Franconic Disciple, what up, man? 23 months, dude. Thank you. I appreciate you, my dude. Things are pretty good. Things are pretty good. We got a Search and we got a Goose. I think the Goose is better. But we also got an Ancient Grudge, which is pretty decent. See, the Goose lets us play something on turn... A 3-drop on turn 2. Search lets us play a 4-drop on turn 3. And I, that's why I think the Goose is better than search but then I could just see myself taking ancient grudge as well I'll take the goose I hope the acidic slime comes back people seem to hate green wall of roots all right so we have a lot of fixing a lot of a lot of ramp right now I'm really hoping for some payoffs here if 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 fast bond and strip mine come around you're gonna be sad it's true I think it's just Windswept Teeth here. If we got a Taiga or a Stomping Ground, it's pretty decent. Let's take Winter Orb. What if we're Winter Orbing with this deck? One, two, three, four, five. I already have five creatures that produce mana. Oh, the Mascara Worm? Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Mascara Worm. Eh, I'll just take Carnage Tyrant here. 
it's just good. We don't necessarily need more Ari's Wake, especially with these two ways to get creatures into play. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bezzer, are you okay tonight, my dude? Just, you know, giving you a little check, man. Mark is a good dude. Badger, I also hope you're doing okay, buddy. Oh, scavenging use is decent. Oh, the acidic slime did come back? Oh, baby. Wow, like second to last pick. Acidic slime, man. That's wild. All right, so here we have Avenger and we have Noble Hierarch. Not Noble Hierarch, uh, Mere Battle Sphere. I think those are the two picks here. Oh, what up, Disco Biscuits? Badger is stressing a little, have to move. Oh yeah, the move, dude. Oh man, as someone who has moved twice this year, trust me, I know your feel. I know your feeling. Get Mirari's Wake, Mana Flare, and Heart of Spring in play at the same time. Is that the uh, is that the Kerwit challenge? I want you to make. I want every land to tap for. Does it double it? Tap for two and then four and then would they tap for eight or would they tap for like four? Thank you. Is Avenger better than Battle Sphere though? I don't actually know. They're both big creatures that make more creatures. These make O ones, and if they kill it with the, the trigger on the spot, you don't get any. I think it's. I think Battle Sphere might be better. Oh, I like. I actually like Elder Gargaroth. I also like Through the Breach though, and the Gargaroth is probably gonna come back. I think Battle Sphere would be harder to wheel, considering we got like 14th pick Acidic Slime. I think we're probably in good shape to wheel some of these these green cards. Questing Beast and Draga Tree Speaker, both pretty good. You like Beast over Tree Speaker, huh? That's interesting. Also, this is an Elf Badger, so I'm kind of like surprised that you're taking you you pick this. I think it's a Tree Speaker, buddy. Tree Beast, Questing Elf. Seems legit. Oh, but see, one thing to consider is that Avenger can be hit with, with Natural Order. So that's that's something to keep in mind. Ugin seems good. I think we have enough ramp for Ugin. Survival would probably come back. I think it's Raging Ravine here. I think we want to make sure we have a, a little bit of fixing for these red cards. The only thing that adds red here is Sylvan and Gilded Goose. I also like Corsair of Crew Fix there, but. <laughs> okay, so Kerwit just sent me this, and I feel like I should share it with you guys. It's very disconcerting. Thank you! Uh, uh. uh. Badger with Thank the 20 you. randomly gifted subs because you're actually a maniac. And I appreciate you. Badger, you're moving like Thank a week, you. man. And you're still gifting me like infinite subs, dude. You are kind of unreal, dude. Dude, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you. Badger, I hope you take as good, as, as good a care of yourself as you do to me. Good buddy. 
You are super supportive, and I appreciate Thank you. you. Wood Fallen Primus. It is, it is Wednesday, my dudes. Oh, wow. I feel Thank like I keep you. forgetting when it's Wednesday, so now I just... You guys beat me to it. It is Wednesday. Thank you. You literally cannot look this gift horse Thank in the mouth. You. When it wakes up in the morning, how does it decide which legs are going to be in control? Thank you. <laughs> Curly look. <laughs> I'm going to be honest though, I'm probably not taking that. Because knowing my luck, I get paired against the Storm deck and they're like, thanks. They're like, thank you. We could take Avalanche Riders and go Avalanche Riders into Acidic Slime. Thank you. I actually don't hate that. Ooh, Vivian Reed. And also Arbor Elf. How many Arbor Elves is too many? Thank you. Hmm. Badger, as soon as Talented Me said that, I was like, there's no way Badger's going to let that stand, so. Thank you. Thank you for the gifted so Talented Me, my dude. <laughs> Would it be located in its... Thank you. Uh, never mind. I guess it's Vivian? I think it's Vivian. I Thank think you. we have enough. Oh, wow. Yep, there's that guy. There is that guy. There is that guy. There is Thank the survival. <laughs> okay, there's a courser. All right. So literally Thank just you. every card we wanted. I can't believe like all I can't believe all four of these Thank just came you. back including survival Jesus and we have 22 Thank cards you. before pack 3 so our deck is kind of done all we need is a soul ring oh, oh Christ <laughs> Kerwit now just Thank sent me this so I'm pretty sure he's actually just googling weird centaurs he probably just typed weird centaur into google to see uh, Thank you so that's cool uh recurring nightmare is in the cube yes david thank you so much for the reset buddy welcome back my dude do i even need to reset bad you can get me covered that's i do get i do worry about that sometimes i'm like man badger's gonna give give so many subs that like no one else is gonna even have to sub I think it's just Ulamog here. Chandra's great. Vivian's great. Vivian's going to probably table. Golas is fine. But, like, we have a lot of five drops, and I think we just want more to... We have Through the Breach and Sneak Attack, so... Actually, a friend of mine sent that to me. Yeah, that's because... you. Oh, your, oh, your friend sent both of those. Okay. All right. All right. I believe in you. A Cradle would be nice. A Raphelos would be nice. Nothing in this pack is terribly nice, but I think Eternal Witness is probably just fine. Probably gonna take Avalanche Riders out. Eternal Witness is good. <laughs> Nissa Who Shakes the World, also very, very good. He sent more, but the others are disturbing. Guys, keep in mind that these two horse pictures are the non the non disturbing ones. I think it's got to just be Nissa, right? Like another reverse centaur. <laughs> oh, and this is what Badger just sent. So uh, it's awkward for everybody. Jesus, I think we're taking Crater Hoof here for obvious reasons. <laughs> That's what we wanted. That's the Lady of the Hour. That's who we're looking for. So I think we are playing 24 lands. Carnage Tyrant can go. I mean, Fintorn Elves is pretty solid. <sighs> yeah. Let's take Whisperwood. I don't foresee us playing it, but... The goose is sad? Really? I mean, it fixes our red.
I want waffles, but the waffle store is closed. You were literally just going to go to bed. Unbelievable. <laughs> what? <coughs> tooth and nail and Kozilek. I mean, we're taking tooth and nail. Because we're not idiots. Um, we are looking for a fellows, but we're not going to find it at this juncture. It's a little too late now. Unless it's literally like 7th or 8th pick, I think. 27 plus 11 is... 38 no so we've seen all the all the packs so now we're just going to uh we're going back to pack one back to pack if you will bro fellows is right not right in the deck though <laughs> what up bdsj Beatty? Beatty? I think Harmonize can probably go. I, I was I was thinking that. BTSJ, nice. That's really simple actually. BT, BT, thanks so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the bits, my dude. Oh look, the Vivian I wanted came back. Vivian come back. You get my man. Oh. Oh, me. Scourge Primal that came back? Sure. What if that Kozilek comes back? <laughs> Badger's just like, I see someone showing support in the chat. I'm going to support them. Dude, I've had like, this is like the third green slash green red deck I've had that seemed like it had it all. And every single time, it just kind of gets wrecked by something. Oh, Copperline. That's a late Copperline Gorge, which is really, really nice, actually. <clears throat> Beatty, appreciate you saying so, my dude. Thank you. Oh, man. Bits for days, my dude. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. You guys are great. If you'd sneak all the original draws, that would be sick, dude. We if I if I took that Kozilek, I had the the jeez, even green sun. I had to delete and reinstall my OS on my Mac because I was trying to increase. I'll just take Thousand Year Storm so no one else can wreck me with it. I'm trying to increase my virtual random play arena on Mac, and I sent my graphics card into the basement instead of to the heavens. Been a rough few hours. Yikes. I, uh, when I played Magic Online on my MacBook, it was, uh, I just used Parallels. So I just had an installation of Windows on there. And I'm going to be honest, I like Windows better than Mac OS, but I think it's only because I'm just used to it. I'm just a Windows. Well, we can't really play Windswept Heath, unfortunately. So I think this is definitely a 24 land, 20, 24 card deck, which means it's only three more cuts. <laughs> hmm. I kind of think we can cut Battle Sphere because we did get Avenger and they kind of do the same thing. Plus, Avenger is good with uh, Natural Order. Questing Beast? Questing Beast just wins games, though. You guys both think Questing Beast? That's a dirt. I think, I think it might be Ugin, too. But Ugin just wins games, too. So, I don't know, man. Maybe we just keep it all and play it. We're definitely cutting probably Vivian or Acidic Slime, one or the other. I think it's Vivian. I think it's Battle Sphere. And we need one more cut. Kerwit might be able to help you out with a uh, with a Windows key. But I also don't want to uh, put him in an awkward position if he can't, so. <clears throat> 41's rougher when we have 16 lands for sure. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have Sylvan Carry added, Sakura Tribe Elder, Gilded Goose. I 
I think Treble and Revealing Goose, but like I think they're also I think they're all they're both just fine. <laughs> this is what Hossmania linked. Oh, now say my name. RPG Badger. You're RPG Badger. That's goddamn right. Bing, bing, bing. I think it's Ugin just because it doesn't interact with any of our creature based uh, good stuff, right? It doesn't get bonuses from Crater Hoof. We can't search it out with Tooth and Nail. We can't sneak it in natural order or through the Breach It. It's just a big dude. That's why I donated twice. You're like, I'm going to give him five now. And then I'm going to give him five later. He's going to know my name. Yeah, I think this is fine. This is four red sources, plus a goose, plus a tribe builder, plus a carry added. Which is like seven red sources. We only need one. Alright, let's do it. I mean, this deck looks sweet, so we'll see. I was thinking one more mountain actually, because you kind of you kind of do want to have two, and as long as we have one green source, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 13. I think twelve green sources for turn one is probably fine. I'm gonna have so many mount. I'm gonna have so many forests in my sideboard. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this should be fine. Uh, a lot of quote commands got wiped a little while ago. There's like this time when uh when like MTG bot went down. Say my name. BTSJ. That's goddamn right. 134 subs to go until your until your thousand gifted sub badge. Badger, dude, that's insane, man. Like, <laughs> that's unreal, dude. I'm like, dude, you make me feel like, like, when, when people are as supportive as, like, Badger or, like, you know, Arctic Avenger or Super Fritz or whoever, you know, like, it's, there's a part of me that's, like, the imposter syndrome kicks in, like, big time. Oh, that's, that's really good. Yep, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And I'm like, but I just play Magic the Gathering on the internet. Duh. I'm going to play Devoted Druid because it gives us a chance to Acidic Slime next turn. And then we can kill one of their lands in order to uh, have them get it back with Ren and Six. Now, now I have to automatically say the quote of Mountains are my favorite land. Okay. Okay. I actually think we just play Secure Traveler and Summon Care added because killing a land doesn't do much here. They just get it back and replay it. And I'd rather have the sixth mana from this next turn. So. Yep. All right. Oh, BT. Thank you more for the, for the badger bits, my dude. Whatever that means. Return to land there because they didn't have anything, so. Leave my bits alone, please. You gotta buy me dinner before you. Oh. Yeah, okay, well. One, two, three, four, five. Still six mana. Next turn, that's fine. A Jitte with no creature. And we have a Civic Slime? That's money. pretty good. One Badger Buck. 
Solid. Solid. Kerwood, thank you, my dude. I appreciate you. Badger appreciates you. You're appreciated. This also just gives us a lot of Copper Lion Forest. So they have two cards, and they have to deal with the Primeval Titan, so I'm sure they're going to have, like, Treachery, and then we're going to Acidic Slime it. Here we go, my dude. I feel way better about supporting you than paying some dumb company I don't care about for a streaming service. Well, hey, buddy. I also appreciate that, because I get to live in a house because of people like you. And I'm also very thrilled to, to like to be able to call you guys friends. Like, I definitely call Badger, Kerwit, Super Fritz. I think you guys are also, like... You guys are definitely friends, and I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you. So we can just attack here, and like they, they have no... There's nothing they can really do. Let's attack Ren Reynolds and Six Arena. <sighs> Give me all the lands. God, Primeval Titan is just not a reasonable magic card. Don't even get, don't even be jitte in here, my dude. I'll just play with all of Roots, right? Like, that's fine. What are they gonna do? Can grandmas be friends? Grandma, you and I are definitely friends. Don't even, don't even get it twisted. All right, so they're killing acidic slime. Let's get this guy moving. So they're probably just going to double block Acidic uh, Primeval Titan, right? That's what I would guess. <laughs> okay. Still probably going to double block Primeval Titan. I'm still going to get two lands and kill both these dudes. <clears throat> two deer walk out of a bar. One turns the other and says, I can't believe I blew 20 bucks. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is a family-friendly stream, Badger. I never did donate them because I don't have a credit card in my name, and I'm more ashamed that I never did donate here. That dude, get out of here, Mark! Shut up! <laughs> You're being ridiculous. Wow, they didn't they didn't block? What? That's wild. Because I can literally just go block block, right? Like, what? Why wouldn't you block Primeval Titan? I'm running out of lands here, man. Well, that's nice. One less land. I mean, this sucks because we're going to shuffle away the Woodfall Primus, but our odds of hitting something else when we have no more lands in our deck is pretty good. That's not... <laughs> that's not ideal. Still no block? What? What even, dude? You put a lot of value on this guy, man. It's wild. Well, if they have Geddon, like, I don't know where their white man is coming from. Wow, this is pretty brutal. I mean, I think we just attack because... Well, okay, so... They block with these two, right? This is a token, right? Oh, face-up non-token creature. It is not a face-up non-token creature. I mean, I really just want to shuffle this land of War Elf away. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, this is hilarious. We have no lands. I mean, if I get rid of this or this, I'm just fine. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep, that is fine. You value Whisperwood more less than Ravager? That's weird. Look at it this way. A year ago after watching your YouTube videos from all I joined in the stream, I saw content I liked and I was able to like active, actual, actively join it and get to know you. I became a regular on the stream and got to make a bunch of new friends here. For me, it's like seeing a TV show you really enjoy and then being allowed to be a part of it. That's super, Dude, that's a fucking amazing compliment. I wish I had played this for us now. Okay. Well. I, I don't I don't know what they can do for four mana that's gonna be better than like natural or crater hoof. We can play goose. Sure. 
They discarded Woodfall Primus of their own. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. I had Subway for lunch and dinner. <laughs> Good lord. See, Superfits, you're not the only one keeping keeping someone else employed in this chat. Interesting. Okay, you get another wolf. Seven cards. <clears throat> um, so we can go... So this is going to be 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana. This is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We have plenty of mana. I think we can just play Nyssa first, right? Seems good. Get a goose down. Get a goosey boy. Get this guy going. That's correct. <clears throat> Let's figure it out. So we have, what, 14, 15? So this is 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we can tap this too. Yeah, that's we actually have <laughs> almost perfect mana. I'm just afraid they have Cryptic Command, but... I mean, what can you do? I mean, Cryptic Command is just what kills us, right? Because they just tapped on our team. And one, two, three. Oh, this is not it. Through the Breach. I don't know what this could be. Dragon Lord of Tarka. It's pretty good. <clears throat> Can we do anything in response to this? Not really. I mean, they can kill like one, two, three, four. They can kill three creatures. So, you know. Let's see what they do. And, oh, they kill two creatures. Yep. Sure. I'm actually going to throw the Breach Eternal Witness here. The reason being, it would count towards Crater Hoof's ability. And it also gives this haste, which is like another 10,000 damage. Um, let's get Primeal Titan back. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. <clears throat> Let's go here. Attack with these two. Oh, I guess everything else doesn't have haste. Eh, it's still a lot of damage. This is a fine trade. If they just take 11 and go to 1? Interesting. Okay. So they have three cards, we have two cards. We are at 21 with a food token. And yeah, Ulamog is on top, so we just get to draw Ulamog. Nice. Well, that that's that was pretty nice. So they have through the breach. That's hard to deal with if, if we don't have a <clears throat> a uh, response or answer to it. 
Ren and Six is rough for our elves. Uh, Fire Ice is rough for our elves. The scavenging guys do anything? I guess it's not bad against their, like, if they're Ren and Six, if they're getting back a bunch of lands. This actually seems fine. Sneak attack on turn three. All right. I mean, we can go Primeval Titan, get four lands, and then Eternal Witness the Primeval Titan back. Oof. Also not bad. Alright, without Ren and Six, getting like a Woodfall Primus next turn to kill two lands is probably going to be game. Yep, that's fine. So we can either sneak attack Primeval Titan to put four lands into play, or we can just natural order Woodfall Primus. I'm pretty sure we're just natural ordering Woodfall Primus. Uh, let's make sure that's the correct play. It's not Crater Huff here. With only like three lands in play, I don't think it's Avenger either. I think Woodfall is just the place to be. Frank, to me, it's always amazing how you always interact and are thankful to all of us in the chat. Your stream feels heartwarming because we don't feel... Because you don't see this often. I mean, this kind of treatment from a person we might just throwing... Dude, the thing is, like... I think that's true, right? In the sense that, like... Like, a lot of times you don't get that kind of response. But on the same hand, like, I don't understand because, like... Without you guys, like... I don't even have a job. Like... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't even have... You guys keep me alive, so to speak. Let's play Sneak Attack. Oh, the game has ended. Okay. <laughs> wow. I was like, wait, did I miss the prompt to put a creature into play? Oh, no. If you if you actually pay a red to activate Sneak Attack, your opponent concedes. So, that's pretty good. Natural Order for Findhorn is actually a pretty solid play. I should have I should have actually given more consideration to that. Oh, I don't know why I didn't. A little less conversation, a little more action. Oh, BT. All I got. Dude, I appreciate you. Thank you, man. Thank you, BT. They didn't actually wait to see. They're like, you know what? That's all I need to see. It was just a Primeval Titan. Which, I mean, sure, I get four lands, but all things considered, like, that's not actually the worst. Oh, wow. 9, 11, 7, 9, 11, 5, 7, 9, 11. I'm going to ship it. This is not much better, but... We'll keep it. Jarga Tree Speaker. Dang. I mean, if we can get to five to go through the breach, uh, Woodfall Primus is pretty good. Oh, boy. If we can get to turn six to go through the breach, Woodfall Primus. So we're going to take five. We're going to go land. We're going to take five. We're going to go beast. Nope. We're going to take five. We're going to go... Oh, yeah, that's pretty bad. It's a good start, man. It's a... Uh... Solid start. Yep, that's that's a thing. Yep, so now we take five, six, seven. We untap, maybe play Eternal Witness. I'm just going to go to the next game. Once you said I was getting too sassy, I you were getting sassy. Buddy, listen. I remember. Okay. I want to play Vivian Reed just because it kills artifacts. Yikes. Yeah, let's take Gargaroth out for now. Uh, 
I will play first. This hand's bad. This hand's good. This hand's good. Um, I'm gonna get rid of Nissa here. I think everything else is very good. So you got one, and then into this. Actually, Nissa might be better than Questing Beast. I know that feels weird, but. That's a turn. That is a turn. All right, one, two, three, four, five mana next turn. We got we can through the breach if they have it. If we if we draw something sweet. I got an email from Subway Corporate letting me know that the regional district boards are going to be deciding within the next year whether we're permanently adding the impossible bolster. Dude, I still have yet to try those, but I'm not sure if they're even available near me. That's fine. BT, what are you asking? Why not Breach? Why not Breach what? Why not put Breach back? Um, because I think Breach is one of our stronger like combo engine cards. And we have so many creatures that we can Breach like this guy. And that's, that's not it. But you get it. I got like a mana leak. That'd be that'd be sad. I mean, there's like, like if we hit Kaz if we hit a uh, Ulamog, if we hit uh, Crater Hoof, if we hit not Crater Hoof, uh, Woodfall, if we hit Emrakul, like there's so many cards we could hit in our deck that just win us the game on the spot because of Breach. Are there any arcane spells? Uh, there was Kodama's Reach, but I don't know if there's. I don't know if it's only one, two, three, four. Sure. Oh my god! See, this is what I mean. Like, this is the bullshit that happens. Like, we always have a great fucking deck, and then they end up doing this bullshit where it's like, okay, see the fucking literal next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, that might still be good enough. Two, three, four, eternal witness. Get a red. Yep. Red. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And they can block, or they can not block. I mean, they can kill two of my lands, but if they get rid of this guy, they're going to also have to sacrifice their planes, so. Okay. Sure. I mean, I'm 100% blocking with Eternal Witness if they attack. I am no longer blocking with Eternal Witness if they attack. Get a second red because if they uh, choose to kill us with Sundering Titan, we get to. Yep, that's pretty cool. Wow. Talk about the fucking most amazing hand you could have. Winds of a band to get rid of my one blocker so you can kill Nyssa. A, a Phyrexian Metamorph, and you were able to do all of that with the exact mana you had. Just. just perfect. Yep, let's go to the next game. Next match, I guess, because this was just ridiculous. I mean, like, I feel like our, um, I feel like our deck is fantastic, but we still have to work for our wins. 
Whereas like our opponent's like, well, I just have it all. So big old pair of suitor tits. <laughs> See, that's funnier because that doesn't make any that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'll keep this. to five. Can't argue with that. You don't make sense. Got him. I expect better. Our district opted out of the test run of them, so I haven't gotten to try them with the initial test is positive. Oh, I mean, I hope, dude, I really hope that they're, like, they're kept forever. I hope we, because I'll, dude, I'll, I'll go to Subway way more if they have some impossible because their marinara is also I think the marinara at, at Subway is really good when I used to get meatball subs I was like this is some solid marinara it's tangy and sweet and it's good I got gifted a sub 30 minutes ago while not viewing <laughs> what up Schmurricane alright we need to land on the top land on the top That's fine. Given my track record, I'm unsure as to why you'd expect better, but fair enough. You know why I expect better? Because every so often, Michael will sit down to dinner and he'll be wearing a send him on down to rat train shirt that you made and sent him. And that's the super fits I expect. <gasps> Yay! You ever get the roast chicken breast with some marinara on it and some cheese? No, you know what I used to get? Um, when I stopped eating, like, meat, I used to get, like, um, mozzarella, peppers, onions, tomatoes, and marinara sauce. And it was, like, it was, like, the pepper, there was, like, a pepperoni pizziola. I don't know if you guys remember that at Subway. And, um... And it was kind of, like, that version of that. But, like, for vegetarians, right? So it was just like all the, the Italian-esque veggies, but with like marinara sauce and cheese on it. So it was kind of like a little pizza. Oh, dude, Super Fritzy wears it regularly. It's fantastic. I used to sub to you, but I'm trying to save money. Hard times when I would call. Dude, don't even worry about it, man. I always appreciate you guys that like try to sub and support me when you can. But then, like, life comes up and you're like, oh, man, I'm sorry I can't sub. I'm like, dude, seriously. Support me when you can. And, uh, you know, just enjoy the content when you can. No one has to. No one has to sub or donate or what have you. I said, Super I like that you're exclusively talking to Mike about shirts. And you're like, I'm going to keep sending you shirts. But Frank clearly didn't want any because he never told me his size. So I'm never going to, I'm just going to send them to you. Like, it was just kind of funny. You're like, eh, well. And I'm like, every time see, Mike is like, Superfit's going to send me another shirt, I'm like, dang. I really should respond to him. <laughs> I had a roast beef soap potato salad in it the other day. Dude, potato salad is pretty bomb. I would have probably attacked with this guy just to kill my forest, but... Another fact of the day. If crows think that they are being watched when they hide their food, they'll go back later and hide. Crows are so fucking smart, dude. I keep telling Katie, I'm like, can we get crows? Can we get can we get a crow? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um fuck. I prefer mayo potato salad, but dude, I still like some mustard potato salad. In egg salad, I put mayo and mustard because I'm a maniac. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dang it. Why am I short? Is it just Gargaroth? Big Gargs? I feel like I kill... I feel like I kill there on the honor. Mm. 
There he is, early Europe. What up? What up? What up, so salty? My German friend. I don't want to lose any mayo, it's true. I don't want to lose any bay days. One, two, three, four, five. Acid slime. I don't even have anything in the graveyard. I don't want to attack because then they just block. They don't block, right? Like, that seems bad. It's only forest, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll make a food token. We're going to have to do it right now, though. I ain't in a rush. Rest of the crew is sleeping. Things in the new home are pretty good. Pretty good. We're still getting unpacked. Because of Katie working overnights for the first month we were here, there's still boxes everywhere. They have two cards. I'm pretty sure we're, like, way ahead right now. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're still one man. Oh, we have nine now. Okay, so. I guess we're attacking with this guy they can't block. This cube is actually up until like June 29th or 30th, July 29th or 30th, which is pretty insane. I have no idea why they put it up for like a month after like the legacy cube. But I'm not complaining. That's a, the that's the thing is I just figured Frank had a more sophisticated wardrobe and didn't want to wear meme shirts. Dude, I appreciate that's actually hilarious. I've actually had several people who are like, I wanted to get you the shirt, but I knew you probably wouldn't wear it. Like And that's so funny because it's very like it's a very subtle thing to like figure out. Big go. Uh, are they going to mana leak this? Mana tithe? They did not, so. Is it that subtle? You wore a suit? I mean, I wore I wore a blazer. Let's be, let's be clear. It wasn't a suit. Like, a suit would be like... When people say suit, I think of like a tux, you know? It was just a blazer and jeans. I got a cool stuff ink shirt on right now, but it's also black, so... Elspeth. Okay, so you're getting rid of something. Probably Nissa. Nissa's doing doing some dirty here. Why well, has it got to be Exile? Yep. <laughs> Suit stream. Mike seems like he genuinely enjoys them, and they seem to, to uh, they they see stream time either way. So yeah, that's true. That's true. And also the other thing is that like Mike never buys clothes for himself. Like literally ever. Like every shirt he wears is like gifted to him birthday suit stream wait no badger i don't really want to uh never be able to stream again so i think we just alpha here see what happens finally found the love of a lifetime what's this guy gonna do make a beast let's draw a card i don't need a beast right now specifically I mean, they can double block one land. They take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They'd be dead. So they can't do that. They can go one, one on here, two, two on a land. And then they take 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, they still die. Okay. So they kind of have to block this guy, but he does have trample. I don't know if they can survive, I'll be honest with you guys.
Oh yeah, they well they go to sixteen, I guess, from the vampire. Daylight come and me one go home. This is a t -t -t today, Junior. There's a hell of a block here. Yeah, doesn't that kill you? Six, ten, sixteen. I'm no expert, but that's exactly lethal. And zero. Yep. All right. That'll do, pig. That'll do. So we saw honor and we saw legions landing. I think we can bring in Vivian Reed. Cut the gargles. La I I know that was a Harry Belafonte song forever beforehand, but the only thing oh I I think of Beetlejuice all the time. I don't think that song has an identity without Beetlejuice, to be honest with you. Uh, last fact: if you take a picture of your food in Germany, the chef legally owns the rights to the photo, as it's considered that. Is that true? <laughs> I'm no expert, yeah, but you counted to 16. Can't fool me. Alright, I tried. I tried. Look, buddy. Listen. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot, room. Daylight command. I'm not your buddy. I'm not your pal, chief. I'll keep it. The thing is, they don't seem to have a ton of ways to... You know what? We always have sneak attack. We always have through the breach. And we always have two Eldrazi. And we never get to do anything with them. Meanwhile, our opponent always beats the shit out of us with whatever plan they have. Like double Sundering Titan. <laughs> Not even I knew this food thing. Yeah, I, Badger is not um, known to make up facts. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot, ten foot. Daylight, command me. So we're going to have one? No, they're going to have to... No, we don't have to use that. We have one, two, three, four, five. We can acidic slime next turn, or we can draw land. I just don't want to use my food here, so we'll take a risk. There's a similar law in France. You can't take a pick of the Eiffel Tower at night. It is because the lights on the tower are considered an art piece and would violate the... That's interesting. The situation goes back to a German court judgment from 2013, which widened copyright law to include the applied arts too. As a result, the threshold for copyright ability was lowered considerably, with the practical consequence that it was easier for chefs to sue those who posted photographs of their creation creations without permission. That's interesting. What a wild... What a time to be alive, man. Oh, sword is pretty good here. Oh, buddy. So we have one, two, three, we have five mana. We can actually get rid of the goose. Wow. It's just Woodfall Primus kill the sword. This is the only land we have, so I'm just going to play it. We have one, two, three, four. This 
This has got to be the play, right? And then next turn we can Acidic Slime their like Plateau. Or if we hit a land, we can just Primeal Titan. Wish I was back in Germany. I mean, not as much as I wish I was back in Japan, but you know, man. Dude, oh, that's fascinating. The, the love of Japan between Kerwin and, and RPG Badger is fantastic. Kerwin, when we go to Japan, we should just invite Badger to meet us there. Actually, if he's not if he's not there already. Bet you wish you had that crucible now. <laughs> what do they get now? Batter skull's good. One, two, three, four. I guess we just play Titan, right? Forever flying high. Really repping the Havoc's powers in this history. <laughs> oh god, it's awkward for everyone. Alright. You're on prime time now, my dude. If we still got sneak attack, just waiting for an Eldrazi or a Crater Hoof or something. Two, three, four. So we can actually go Sylvan Carry at it for two. Yep, all right. Well, now we have a Cytic Slime. So we still get two more dudes, and they can't actually batter skull this turn, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, that's not bad. More like Copperline Borg, am I right? I don't, you know, this time you might not be. This might, mm, I don't, I'm not sure. You know, I'm not so sure just gonna come out and say it I'm not positive <laughs> one two three four five acid slime all over your face do 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 I mean really just hoping you draw something before this before they hit f six mana right because that guy's gonna be a real pain in the ass We're just going to play carry added here because I think having more creatures on board is better than having like random sneak attack in play that they can deal with. I'd rather just save the sneak until we get like Emrakul in hand, which I'm still waiting for. This is game, this is round three, game two, and we still haven't even hit an Emrakul yet. Come on, one in Miracle. We also have to hit Tooth and Nail, which is interesting. A lot of cards we haven't, haven't hit. A lot of cards we haven't hit. No attack. Satisfied. That's not, that's not what we're looking for here. Draw a Tree Speaker. So now I want to attack just a shuffle. So they probably put in Batter Skull. They double block and save one. I just don't want to draw a Tree Speaker. So. <laughs> I don't want to draw that either. <laughs> Ugh. Yikes. Well. Good gravy. Yep, that we knew about. Oh, 
Oh, you don't want to draw a tree speaker? How about a Findhorn Elves? Mm, no, I don't want that either. Yep. I guess we get to kill one. Probably the germ, I would imagine. I hope they misclick. Dang it. So when they get pro black or something? They did not. I mean, it's true. They do always show up when you don't need them. 100%. So they get like it's basically time walking us because we have Finhorn elves on top. It's kind of unfortunate. That's a big dude. That is a big boy. Alright, pro green it is. Yep, we're probably dead. This is like 12, and if they draw any land, they just get to make this like a 14 14. Oh my god, our next card's a land. Jesus. Yep, let's go to the next game. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's kind of unbelievable. Well. <laughs> Everyone except Badger, have a good night. Badger, have a good day. Kerwood, have a good night, buddy. I'm sure I'll see you tomorrow sometime. I'm gonna play near I'm gonna bring in Battle Sphere. What was the other card that snuck in here? I feel like I just accidentally pulled a card in here, but I don't know what it was. Green Sun, okay. And I'm also gonna play Ugin. All right, let's see if we can through the breach or sneak attack one time in this draft. What do I have for dinner? Um. We got a grill this weekend, actually. Me and Katie and Mike, we invested in a grill. And um, we make, like, these veggie packets, which I actually, we started doing in Utah. I did this with Jake and Cass, who I was living with at the time. And we'd have this aluminum foil, and we put in, like, carrots, potatoes, and onions. And, like, we put butter and olive oil and, like, salt and pepper, and then we just, we just cook them on the grill for, like, an hour. And they're actually friggin' delicious. Um, we didn't play, I don't know, I, we could have played survival actually, but. I think Questing Beast is probably, probably MVP in this matchup. <laughs> Playing Vintage Q when I have two Theros cards in my hand, that's kind of, or Throne of Eldraine rather, that's pretty funny. And I also had an impossible, impossible sausage uh with mustard and sauerkraut yeah but the problem is the only problem with survival is that you just have to draw it like we could still just not have it in hand that being said it's still very good I just also felt like our top end was like we had enough that we had like Kozilek, or uh, Ulmog, Emrakul, you know, Craterhoof, Woodfall Primus, 
Avenger of Zendikar. Like, we had a ton of top end that we could have hit. Tooth and Nail to get them both natural order, so. No, no play, huh? Interesting. It's your boy. All right. I mean, I, I assume this guy is going to get uh, Winds of Abandoned. When you do a worker, he used to do that. The onions get very soft and juicy. Oh yeah, it's it's yeah. You get uh, you get the caramelized onions, and it's f just friggin' delicious. Yeah, and so I actually added like sour cream and cheese to them, and it was kind of like uh, it's kind of like a baked potato, like a veggie baked potato. And it was they're just it's just such a cheap and easy meal. Yeah, I'm just gonna have six here. Like, we're not gonna make mana with the food, and we're not gonna. Yeah, like a veggie baked, like a baked, like there, there were potatoes and onions and and carrots, right? So like, it's kind of like a baked potato, but with like carrots and onions and stuff, and like sour cream, and well, a veggie baked potato in the sense of like a baked potato with veggies on top. You know what I mean? I mean, we get to Questing Beast, they can't block, and then we get to deal four to Gideon? That's pretty good. Hmm. I mean, we could attack with this, too. I don't know where... We don't have a second red, though, so that's kind of... I don't really want to just waste a food just to attack once with a, uh... With a Gilded Goose, so... Jesus, Questing Beast is just so fucking stupid. Like, what a dumb card, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana. All right. Tooth and Nail, Natural Order, Through the Breach, Sneak Attack. How many cards is that? Natural Order, Tooth and Nail, Through the Breach, Sneak Attack, Natural Order. Did I say that? Natural Order, Tooth and Nail. Sneak Through. And that's four, right? And we can also just draw... Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. <sighs> Seriously? Wrath of God in your fucking white weenie deck. Cool. <laughs> oh, boy. Turns out we should have gotten rid of the Gideon. <laughs> oh, magic. You are a game, alright. You are a game. Are we really going to 1-2 with this deck? That's wild, dude. <sighs> That's wild. I've had the worst luck with these, like, the perfect green decks in this format. I mean, if we can top deck one land, or one uh, through the breach here, that'd be amazing. But this deck is this deck definitely feels better than one too. Like I feel like we have all the cards that we want, but doesn't really matter. Yep, take four.
I mean, thankfully we're at a virtual eight. <laughs> oh, what an absolute piece of shit, dude. What an absolute fucking scumbag. Oh, that's hilarious, dude. Cool. Yeah, Linvala. Wow, solid sideboarding. Well, we got one turn. Maybe two. Play the meme. Okay. Down here, salt is a way of life. It's true. It's just so dumb, dude. Like, come on. One, two, three, four, five. They have seven permanents. So they could just sack all lands and keep Gideon and Linvala alive. I guess they would die to Emrakul in the air, but... I mean, we're still just looking for the one through the breach, right? Take seven. Next turn, four or five. I guess we can... That's unreal. That's unreal, dude. That's amazing. Last game with 16 lands, we couldn't stop drawing mana dorks. Fucking unreal. That's, that's incredible. Cool one, two. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Support me on manatraders.com. Cool stuff, Inc. every Wednesday. Whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.